algebraic equations. So what we've learned so far is how to convert a logarithmic equation into an exponential equation and changing those forms. And we're going to use that to our advantage in order to solve these logarithmic equations. So what we want to do is first look at this logarithmic equation and change it to exponential form. That is going to be your biggest tool in solving these types of equations. So in this problem, we've got a base of 9. Our x moment will be 3 and it will equal x. So we can use that backward C method again. 9 to the third equals x. Now in these we actually want to know the value of x. We're not just swapping its format and leaving it. We want to figure out the answer for this. So what is 9 to the third? You would need to use your calculator, um, but it's 9 times 9 times 9. So our value here of x is 729, and that would be your answer for that problem. Let's look at b part. We're going to do the same thing. So 10 to the negative 4 equals x. Use your calculator, and you would get, there's a couple different ways you could write the answer. You could write it as a decimal, or you could write it as a fraction. Now, if you wrote it as a fraction, it would be four zeros. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Let's look at 10a. So we've got a little bit of an algebraic expression right here, but we can still work this the same way. So this is two to the fourth. And now it's going to equal all of this x minus 11. So let's simplify 2 to the 4th. 2 to the 4th would be 16, because 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, equals x minus 11. And you see now that you kind of, you have a linear, not kind of, you do. You have a linear equation now, which we've been doing since the beginning of algebra. So let's solve this just by adding 11 and we get that the answer is 27. So x in this problem would be 27. And for our last one, 3 to the second equals 3x plus 1. So simplify the expression first, the um, exponential expression. So 3 squared would give me 9 equals 3x plus 1, and now you have a linear equation that you just solve like you always have. So minus 1, this is 8, equals 3x, divide by 3, and my answer is just 8 thirds. So that is how you solve a logarithmic equation. Again, you're converting to exponential, simplifying the exponents, and then solving for x if needed.